morning, I would like to thank the Society for allowing me to um, present our work on long-term follow-up of endoscopic skiotherapy for dilated gastrojejunostomy after bypass. Um, disclosures of the authors as listed, uh, none is relevant to the work. Ruan Y gastric bypass is the most commonly performed weight loss procedure in North America. It is associated with an average of 62% excess body weight loss. Weight regain has been increasingly recognized as an issue, as reported in studies with long-term follow-up. Proposed causes are different. Dietary habits, lack of exercise, gastrogastric fistula, dilated gastric pouch, and enlarged gastrojejunostomy. This is a study that shows 165 patients undergone an upper GI scope following Gruen Y gastric bypass. And you can see on the X axis, the GJ stoma diameter is increasing in millimeters, and that is concomitant with increase in weight regain. The proposed mechanism of dilated gastrogenostomy is a loss of satiety due to quicker emptying of the gastric pouch. There are different options for treatment, including revisional surgery, which carries increased risk of morbidity and mortality in comparison to primary procedure. Other options are minimally invasive endoscopic procedures, including suturing, plication, and sclerotherapy, which entails injection of sclerosing material like sodium morweight in the submucosal plane of the gastrogenostomy anastomosis. The aim of our study is to assess the long-term outcomes of endoscopic sclerotherapy therapy for dilated gastrogenostomy following Ruan Y gastric bypass procedure with regard to weight loss. It's a retrospective review of 48 patients who underwent sclerotherapy therapy for dilated gastrogenostomy between 2007 and 2012 that was done in the University of Missouri in Columbia. Multivariate analysis was used to study factors associated with weight change. First, um, patient uh, is assessed by our medical bariatrician as a protocol being assessed for different reasons. Second, the patient would get a diagnostic upper endoscope. And at that point, if the stoma is dilated up to 15 millimeters, we would start our injection sclerotherapy for the first session. Patient would return to the clinic for re-evaluation. And at that point, there might be a potential second or third session for sclerosing uh, injection. This is a brief video that shows uh, a root uh, 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 red tooth forceps uh, being measured uh, before introduction uh, through the working channel. It uh, measures about 20 millimeters, and you can see the dilated gastrogenostomy. Followed by that, a standard needle is used to inject sclerosing agent, starting inferiorly in the submucosal plane and going circumferentially. One to two ml of sodium or weight is used for such procedure. And you can appreciate during inject injection the submucosal plane, a bleb, which is important to recognize. Patients were discharged with narcotics uh, for pain control, proton pump inhibitors for a month, and as well as sucralfate. Clear liquids were given, uh, instructed to the patients for the first 12 to 24 hours after the procedure. In our results, 48 patients were identified. Original gastric bypass procedure was done between 1991 and 2007. Uh, five years as a median after the Ruan Y gastric bypass where injection started with sclerotherapy. Median patient age was 49.5 years. Female gender were 92%. And the follow-up median was 22 months. One year was for 56 patients, 56%, two years, 39.5%, and four years or more for 15% of our patient's population. The weight loss from the primary procedure, meaning the bypass, was 120 pounds. <coughs> weight regain prior to sclerotherapy was 34 pounds. Pre-procedure measured gastrogenostomy diameter was 25 millimeters. Number of sessions, median of two sessions, and volume used of sodium or weight was 12.8 ml. The weight prior to initial bypass was a median of 3 or 4 pounds. The lowest weight after the bypass was 190. Weight prior to the skiotherapy was 218, and the latest available weight after the uh, end of the sessions were 220. You can appreciate here a statistical 
uh, significance between the weight prior to the bypass till the latest available weight after the sclerotherapy sessions. This is a statistical significance with increase in weight with the lowest weight patient had after the bypass till the latest available weight after the sclerotherapy sessions. In this slide, it does not show statistical significance between the weight started before the sclerotherapy session till the end of the therapy. The results remained unchanged when controlling for the volume of the sclerosing agent, the age of the patient, the diameter of the gastrojejunostomy, the number of uh, sclerotherapy sessions, number of years of follow-up, and stabilization or decrease in stoma diameter on subsequent sessions. Weight stabilization loss following sclerotherapy in our study population was 46%. Median weight loss was 9.5 pounds with no statistical significance. This is a graph that shows uh, the highest weight the patient had um, before the bypass, the lowest weight the patient had reached, and then start to regain weight and going up before the starting of the sclerotherapy sessions. And in spite that the, there was a decrease in weight, yet it was not statistically significant. Limitations of our study being retrospective, small sample in size, and um, the method of estimation of gastrojejunostomy size. There have been other studies that have demonstrated um, stabilization of weight between 75 to 95 percent with a mean weight loss of 10 pounds. In conclusion, at long-term follow-up of patients undergoing sclerotherapy of the gastrojejunostomy for weight regain, following gastric bypass, there is only a marginal weight loss which was not statistically significant in our study population. No predictors of weight loss were identified. Thank you. Thank you for this uh, very excellent presentation. Uh, unfortunately, because we have the presidential address coming up, we would ask people to ask their questions uh, perhaps at the coffee break later. Yeah. Thank you very, very much. Sure.